One of the really useful features that arrived with version 9 of the Tesla software, if you have a version 2.5 hardware car, is the ability to use the front cameras as a dash cam. In order to do that, you need a USB drive to plug into the front USB ports, and that USB drive has to be formatted using the FAT32 system. So here you can see the tiny SanDisk USB drive which I purchased in order to do this. Um, this is a 64 gigabyte uh, USB drive and as you can see it is absolutely tiny. It is literally the size of my thumbnail. So I've brought my USB drive in from the car. I'm going to check it's formatted correctly and I'm going to add a directory that Tesla can write to for the dash cam footage. So first of all I will check that it's got the right formatting on it. As you can see here the file system is FAT32 so I don't need to change that. This is how the drive shipped. I now need to create a directory called Tesla cam. So let's create a new folder and it needs to be called Tesla cam. And that is it. My USB drive is ready to go back into the car and record dash cam footage. So once you've got your USB drive formatted to FAT32, you take it and you plug it into one of the front USB ports like so. And you are now basically set up for recording dash cam footage to that USB stick. You can see the dash cam icon on the screen here. As you can see at the moment it's got a grey dot in it. That means that it's not currently recording footage to the memory stick. If you want to start recording footage to the memory stick, you simply long press on it, it'll flash. The grey dot changes to a red dot and it is now recording footage. Footage is saved to the memory stick on a rolling one hour basis, but if something happens and you want to ensure that the file does not get overwritten, if you quickly single tap on the icon it changes to downloading and then changes to a tick when it's completed and that means that the footage is saved and those files will not be overwritten. The dash cam then continues recording as it was previously. When you want to stop recording to your memory stick you simply long press once again on the icon, it pulses and the red dot will change back to a grey dot. It's no longer recording to the memory stick, it's safe to remove the memory stick and go and download the footage in the house.